This video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. Butch Hartman, talk about a fall from grace. I recall a few years ago when this guy popped up on YouTube with his Why Nickelodeon Fired Me video. And a lot of folks, including myself, were like, wow, I can't believe that Nickelodeon was so mean to Butch. This guy made fairly odd parents, Danny Phantom, Tough Puppy, and then something else. I mean, this guy created our childhood. That's right, when your mom and dad were in bed and, and you were being conceived, Butch Hartman ran in there and was like, Who are you? I'm Butch Hartman. He winked at your mom and boom, childhood created. What the fuck am I talking about? Okay, so Butch Hartman's reputation would take some hits over the years. Uh, allegations of tracing art commissions, saying some unsavory things about curing autism through prayer, and then, the case in point here in this video, the entire mess that is OAxis. For those who don't know, OAxis is a streaming service that Butch Hartman was campaigning for on Kickstarter. It's something where he said like, I want to launch this platform as a place that is family friendly, secure, safe, though we also have amazing content, uh, animated stuff. We're also going to have things like sports and uh, uh, comedy. All in all though, Butch Hartman raised around $270,000 for this venture. And then uh, things got kind of quiet, where it's like, it's been about three years, Butch. When are you gonna update us on the progress of OAxis? But here's the thing, folks. Boom, there it is. Oaxis.tv, the platform went live for like three days. Yeah, it's gone now. You go to Oaxis.tv and it takes you right back to Butch Hartman's website. So, uh, what? For like a brief moment, we got to see what looked like it was Oaxis, which includes things like some potato cartoon show and Butch Hartman videos from his YouTube channel. And of course, Among Us 3. You heard it here, folks. Oaxis.tv, the home of Among Us 3. Well, the website, as I said, is down. We're not sure if it was a test that failed, uh, something that never should have gone live to begin with, if these videos and images were just layouts for how Oaxis might look, though as far as the content goes, we still don't know. All in all, it's a mess. We just don't know. And the track record of Butch Hartman and how he's not very forthcoming uh, brings a lot of things into question. I mean, this is the guy who went to a church and basically said like, oh, access, it's family friendly and we're gonna use it to take Christian values into Hollywood. To which um, wasn't said in the original pitch for oh, access. Folks who donated were like, hold on, um, why is this information just now coming to light? Uh, I did not want to sign up for some Bible thumping streaming platform. That wasn't a transparent note in your presentation to us. So the entire thing is just a mess. We don't know. And with every passing day, things just look more and more suspicious. And we have the right to hold Butch Hartman and his toes to the fire and say, yo, what are you doing with this money? And you know what, folks? I decided to just hop onto the website, check out the content, and essentially do a review. So I present to you all my thoughts on oaxis.tv. Uh, maybe alpha? I don't know. But yeah, it gets pretty bad. Brace yourselves. So this is oaxis, we think. We don't really know, to be honest. It went live a few days ago. I think it was like a WordPress website. Ooh. And it's gone now, it's down. Whenever you go to oaxis.tv, it now goes to Butch Hartman's website, butchhartman.com or something like that. Because oaxis was a website for a while. Like there was a landing page or whatever. But when you went to, to oaxis.tv, it's like, Oh, access, it's on its way and give us your emails. So we can send you updates and that's that's it. And it was like that for like two or three years. And then this popped up like three or four days ago. Though again, it's gone now. Um, a big shout out to Pie Guy Rules. He's been one of the best investigators 
when it comes to following the Butch Hartman saga, especially with Oaxis. So um, full on credit. This is actually his video footage here from his stream. Uh, go support him if you want to continue to follow the Butch Hartman saga. So first glance, you're like, okay, Oaxis Entertainment comedy. And you kind of, if you're familiar with Butch Hartman, you're like, wait, there's what? These are his uh, his art commissions. Like this, this is art he's drawn. I mean, isn't it great? I, how cool is it that uh, Butch Hartman was able to get his hands on things like Among Us and Among Us Three? It's pretty cool. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog. Learn more. I don't know exactly what that means. Sofa Spuds too. Yes. When I when I heard about Oaxis .tv or .gov, I was so hopeful for um, Sofa Spuds too. I know it's on YouTube. I know that practically every single thing that is on Oaxis being presented is basically YouTube repackaged videos. But who wants to go to YouTube when you can go to Oaxis TV to watch videos that are on YouTube that are linked to Oaxis TV? That's pretty cool. Do you agree or do you disagree? Uh, the Among Us 3. How about that? I, I'm so excited. We we skipped Among Us 2. Among Us 2! <laughs> Went right to Among Us 3. I don't know, guys. I think Butch Hartman's looking a little s silly. <laughs> I won't say sus. Just said sus. Well, let's look at the video. Uh, once more, I did go through oaxis.tv, this, this web page, uh, though I didn't record it. I wasn't expecting him to take it down, though now in hindsight, I'm not too surprised. But uh, this is Pie Guy's footage, so again, thank you. So a lot of this, I remember when I went to the website, there was like, okay, that, that's something like where Oaxis is very um, in your face about give us your information. Give us your, give us a, make an account. Let's make an account. Make an account for oaxis.tv, which really doesn't entail much. Uh, a lot of it being like, get started, browse oaxis now. I remember clicking on the browse oaxis now, which by the way, would just take you right to him saying, hey, give us your email and give us your information. Like we wanna be able to send you updates every four years. I mean, I don't know about, yeah, there's that tab right there with like, oh, library, comedy, animation, drama, homeschool. I, I don't know what that means. I don't know what he means by homeschool. If you if you aren't a homeschool student, turn it off, all right? How dare you? How, how, how dare you click on homeschool when you're some public school yeoman farmer? <laughs> That's just the reality of this adventure. Um, I, I'm really excited about the reality section. You wanna know why I'm excited about the reality section? Because we get to see really cool reality show things like, hold on, let me find it here. This, yeah, reality tab, Art Man. I, I wanna watch, I wanna see Art Man. I wanna see Butch Hartman, Art Man, Fart Man. <laughs> I, I think it's starting to sink in for a lot of folks. They're realizing oaxis.tv is, is, cause okay, let's at least give him one, one benefit of the doubt. It is possible that this wasn't the final version, that this was a test, that these thumbnails were stand-ins to present the layout, and that the actual content, which is what I'm, that's what I'm wondering about, what's the content going to be? Uh, that the actual content isn't there yet. So for all I know, um, I just put in a pre-order in for a big old slice of humble pie. Though, and I will gladly admit if I'm wrong, if this ends up being where it's like, fine, shut up, Saber Spark, here's Oaxis TV, here's the content, it's actually succeeding. I'll be like, okay, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I will, I will gladly admit that I'm wrong. But when you look at Butch Hartman's questionable track record, I feel like we have uh, enough doubt to raise concerns and be suspicious of how things are going down, especially when it's going at this snail pace of updates. It's been cryptic with like, where is it now? With also when there's footage of like him in front of churches saying we're gonna be a Christian Trojan horse in a way. It's like, nah, that, 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 that makes me, um, if I was a gambling man, let's just say I wouldn't put it all on fart, man. <laughs>
All right, let's uh, see what we got here. Again, it's mostly like videos from YouTube on his channel or other channels. It's him, his own content, his own uploads. Uh, Butch Hartman is, um, there was a moment where I felt like he must have had some kind of producer working with his YouTube channel because he was putting out videos like every two to three days. And he also learned the art of like those YouTube thumbnails and titles. You know, the ones where it's like, I can't do this anymore or the truth about fairly odd parents or whatever. And I think because there was that first video where he's like, why I left Nickelodeon, he kind of like piggybacked on that video success like six times with other videos where it's like the truth about Nickelodeon or the truth about Fairly Odd Parents or the truth about Danny Phantom. It's like, dude, stop. This this well is now dry. Leave it alone. Go find some other content. Go do something else. But that's the thing about Butch is it's been very difficult for him to actually find anything new on a creative level for the audience. He connected with the folks like myself who grew up with Fairly Odd Parents. And there was that moment of being impressed with like, oh, it's the guy who made Fairly Odd Parents. I'll watch his videos. But then after like a year or two of him just going on and on and on and on about it, I'm like, I'm kind of, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. What else can you do? And it's like, I can talk more about Fairly Odd Parents and how I made it and how I made your childhood and how I'm, I shot all y'all into existence. I'm good. I'm good. I think I'm done watching you. A lot of clickbait. And also, like, not to sound cruel, but there's moments where I see his art, like his commissions and his current drawings of like Danny Phantom, and I'm like, ah, that's not good. Or it looks, at least it looks a lot worse than what it was. Which again, makes me wonder, I'm like, who do we actually owe thanks for this? <laughs> um, all right, let's keep going. Who do we owe thanks for, for uh, the shows that we grew up with? Um, yeah, this is a lot of like those YouTube kid videos where it's like little four-year-olds playing Among Us or their families trying to cash in on the YouTube kid craze or whatever. What else we got? Oh, yeah, I'm I'm excited about Frozen Star Wars. I don't exactly know what that means. It could be the movies, but uh, oh my God, I did not see this part. Um, Frodo triggered. How about that? Frodo, don't give in. I, w <laughs> I mean, wow. Come on, Frodo. What do you have to complain about? Gator's airboat. Surprise egg nerf blast. Finding Grogu. You know, Minecraft too. Um, Kim Possible. Ooh, that is a, not a good drawing. Um, oh my God. I'm sorry. I, I'm not trying to sound. Why is Ronald Reagan on this video? <laughs> Why is Ronald Reagan on Oaxis with the potatoes? <laughs> Oh, so what else we got here? Uh, the pixie rap. Nani? Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, what? What is this under? Is this under like comedy? And now I gotta find out. I wish the website was still up. I tried going through Wayback Machine to find it, but like I couldn't find it. I should have, wait, hold on. There we go. It's, it, I, I, from what I can tell, according to this video, the MLK video is under comedy. I have a dream that one day Oaxis TV just burns up in the atmosphere. All right, well, what else we got? We got a dog. We got Bald Beagle again. Um, we got like, looks like this guy's cosplaying his Bible man, which is not a really good place to start to begin with. Pants, we got Donald Duck wearing pants. Wow. Um, pet delivery. Good God, it's it's all looks like it's content that like, again, you can find it on YouTube or Butch, like, okay, Speech Bubble. It's something that he did as like a podcast in a way. So, hmm, uh, this this is just, I mean, I again, I will say that, again, it could be possible that this these are just stand-ins. I'll just grab some YouTube links from uh, my channel or whatever, or affiliated channels or friends channels and put it on Oaxis, and this is what it's gonna look like. But even then, it's not a good presentation. Like there are even big like streaming services where I still have complaints with how they present their content or how it's difficult to access certain things. But um, yeah, I mean, as of right now, this does not build confidence. It oh yeah, tongue twisters, super saiyan. As of right now, it at least says that Oaxis is not completely dead in the water because there was speculation of whether or not this was a scam. 
how much money was pocketed, how much money actually went to OAxis. Because as of right now, the money isn't showing. It's not, it's not really reflecting in this product. That being said, it could be tied up, tied up elsewhere, behind the scenes, with contracts with shows or creators. Uh, I, I feel like as much as I want to have a go at Butch, uh, there, there's a chance he might, there's something we're not seeing. That, that's possible. But that all being said, again, I don't have much in the way of confidence because I one of the most dangerous things for being a creator or an artist is to let your ego and your pride block out any kind of constructive criticism you could possibly receive. Where you think, I'm just too good. Have you seen my record? Have you seen what I've made? Don't even talk to me. I'm a god. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to turn out the haters. And yeah, there are a lot of folks online who are spiteful and mean and they don't add anything constructive, but there are also folks who are like, Butch, you're screwing up. You can improve by doing the following. And he's like, shut up, hater. I don't want to hear it. And you're just tying your own noose. You really are. Because you're alienating your audience. You're not listening to feedback. And you have an echo chamber by your own design where you think that you are right and everybody else is wrong. And ultimately, it's going to be a price that you have to pay personally. And as we've seen with the decline of Butch Hartman's reputation online, he's been paying that price. So here's um, here are my final thoughts. The best case scenario for Butch Hartman with no access is that he could sell it to a parent company or to some other streaming service who wants to acquire the content or something or possibly the name uh, something of value in no access that's worth buying which at that point um if he sells it and has no kind of affiliation with it from that point on then it's possible that everybody who donated got screwed where it's like well i donated because i thought butch hartman would be running a, a streaming service with his expertise and it's like nope he sold it which again hasn't happened but it's something where i feel like is i mean isn't that everyone's dream this would be bought out by apple or google or facebook or youtube or something right but uh it's be that as it may uh, let's let's say it's just him running it you know just him and curating the content and trying to pick up folks two hundred and seventy thousand dollars is not enough by any means to run a streaming service by by any means and i'm wondering like where are you going to get the content to bolster your ranks why should anyone go to the streaming service what do you have that doesn't already exist family content disney plus go to disney christian content there are christian streaming platforms out there why should they go to you what do you offer that doesn't already exist in a much more capable, higher capacity. What can you possibly do? I can't help but feel that you are dead in the water at this point. And the best thing you can do is either sell it, hope someone buys you out, or do one of those free streaming services where there are ads in it. I don't know what Butch hopes to accomplish. Christian streaming service? If that's the case, for all the folks who donated, I'm sorry, because that was not part of the proposal when he pitched Oaxis with uh, Kickstarter on YouTube. And I'm quite certain that uh, him promoting things like Spider-Verse or Kim Possible or Star Wars, I don't think he uh, I don't think he has the rights to promote that either, to say that he can host that content on his website. I think that was a lie. So all in all, Butch Hartman's in a really precarious situation. I, I am curious how he's going to succeed because I don't see this working out in the long run. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I will gladly admit that I'm wrong. But when we look at the, the long list of grievances and questionable business methods and also these videos that document him saying things like, Christian Trojan horse, or I can help cure autism through prayer, or Oaxis can do Star Wars. Why not? 
these things, um, they damage your reputation and, and they don't build trust. And if you don't have trust, then you don't have anything at all because folks aren't stupid. Well, I mean, there are stupid folks. Let's just hope that Butch Hartman doesn't find them. All in all, we'll see what happens next. I, I do not have any faith in OAXIS whatsoever. Uh, Butch has not done a good job to really foster that kind of relationship with his audience. And if it goes down the same way past things have gone down for Butch, then it's just heading to disaster. You know what? I could be wrong, though. And I will gladly admit if I'm wrong, maybe this might be a smashing success and I just don't know it. But we have every right, as I said before, to follow this venture, to make sure it's going in the right place and that no one's being scammed or tricked or misled. So, hey, Butch, the ball's in your court. You better sink a three-pointer because you need it. So a big shout out to this video sponsor, Helix Sleep. I am now on month number three with my Helix mattress, and it just keeps getting better. I've legit had the best sleep in my life since my Helix arrived. Helix is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses to fit your unique needs based on your body type and sleep style. They even have this awesome sleep quiz to help you find a mattress that fits your personal preferences. Just hop over to their website, take the sleep quiz, and get matched with a mattress that is perfect for your unique body type and sleep preferences. Do you prefer to sleep on your side or maybe your stomach or are you some kind of mummy who sleeps on your back? Do you prefer to have a firm mattress or one that's kind of squishy? Maybe a fusion of both. And for those who share a bed with a partner, have them take the quiz with you so you can both find a perfect compromise. So I took the sleep quiz a few months ago and my preferences are sleeping on my side, having a mattress that is somewhat firm but a little bit soft, a bit of a hybrid if you will. And Helix was like, voila. The Midnight Lux is the way to go, and they were absolutely correct. Also, I ordered it queen size, because I share my bed with my old dog, Lammy, who, despite weighing like 14 pounds, somehow takes up half the bed. And occasionally my cat jumps in too and takes up the rest, so I, I really need extra space when it comes to mattresses, apparently. Like I said last time, the comfort levels of the Midnight Lux blows my old mattress out of the water. Whenever my head hits the pillow, I feel super cozy and comfortable and fall asleep in no time. Also, I still can't get over how this mattress was mailed to my front door for free. When it first arrived, I was like, hold on, how does this entire mattress fit in this box? There's no way. And then I proceeded to open it and uh, boof, there it was. <laughs> no joke, like it poofed out of the box. I was not ready for it. Uh, word of advice, when you do open the box, do it in a room that can actually like fit the mattress or you'll be like me where you get pinned up against the wall. That was a lot of fun. It's also good to let the mattress unfold, breathe. Just, I wasn't thinking. You should think, unlike me. And if you're hesitant about buying a Helix you haven't been able to try, no worries. There's a 100 night sleep trial. So you have over three months to try it out and make sure that you're happy with your selection. If you're not, Helix will pick up the mattress and you will get a full refund. So I absolutely recommend Helix Sleep. I'm a very happy customer and I think owning a quality mattress is important, especially one that can be literally mailed to your front door. So if you're in the market looking for a new bed, check out Helix. Click the link down below and go to helixsleep.com slash saberspark and get $200 off your Helix order. And guess what? They even throw in two pillows for free. So go check it out.